morning. Um, I want to read from uh, Second Kings uh, a story of uh, Hezekiah. Uh, Hezekiah was a, a king of Judah in Israel who uh, pleased the Lord like no other king before him or after him. Uh, and that's from the scripture. And I'm going to read. Uh, it's uh, Second Kings chapter 18 from verse 4. He, Hezekiah, removed the high places and broke the sacred pillars, cut down the wooden image and broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made. For until those days the children of Israel burned incense to it and called it Neshustan. However, Hezekiah trusted in the Lord God of Israel so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor, were, nor who were before him. For he held fast to the Lord, he did not depart from following him, but he kept his commandments, which the Lord had commanded Moses. The Lord was with him, he prospered wherever he went, and he rebelled against the king of Assyria, and did not serve him. He subdued the Philistines and as far as, far as Gaza and its territory from Watchtower to Fortify City. Now, we have something in the making, prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, this January 15th, uh, in about 12 more days, uh, the UN is going to meet uh, with 70 countries plus, and what they're going to try to dictate is uh, a peace resolution, a two-state peace resolution or solution to the Palestinians and the Israelites. Uh, what that's going to em embark on, and it may pass to fulfill prophecy, because in order for the temple to be rebuilt in Jerusalem, in order for the worship to be restored in Jerusalem, all this has to be shot. So I believe what's coming in 12 days is going to pass, yet the word of the Lord will not be broken. Uh, as it was in the days of Hezekiah, it will be this time for the state of Israel. And here in the United States, we have Trump in office. I believe he's going to execute his powers to make that resolution crumble after it passes. And nobody's going to claim credit to it, but the Lord God Almighty, He Himself, will have it done through His people. So no one will take credit for it. Uh, we will be interceding for it. Um, and we will be praying for the peace in Jerusalem, for the Lord God of Israel to accomplish what He says He will. That's what we will be doing, but all the credit will be to Him and Him alone, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now... It will be as in the days of, his, uh, of, of, of Hezekiah. Hezekiah restored the temple worship. Right now the Jews cannot come to the Wailing Wall, nor much less worship around uh, that area. I believe after January 15th, there's going to be such a move of darkness that you're going to see, well, how can Israel escape all of this? But remember the Word of God stands itself as final and it's indestructible what we're gonna see is a move of god that is gonna be so awesome everybody's gonna see how, how can israel stand so little no help by anybody all military power is against them all the nations of the world gather conspire against it and still israel comes up victorious that's how it's gonna look like in 2017 for the state of israel trump here in this uh, country uh, sits in a seat of power that is going to help accomplish that. But lobbying to the UN, by lobbying to those countries that are coming to the Valley of Decision, the Lord will bring those countries to judgment. And appoint, they're appointed to wrath, by the way, because they will not repent. It's in the Bible. Some will not repent. But um, I just wanted to touch on this because 2017 is going to be a year where we're going to see this being fulfilled. And Obama, uh, he's got until the 20th of this year, and I believe he's going to, with everything he's got, he's going to try to damage 
uh, Jerusalem. He wants to climb. He wants to be the man uh, in Jerusalem. And he's got plans on his own. And God knows that his steps and, uh, and he's steering his heart to come to that valley of decision as well. He's going to be judged as well as many will be, those who are against Israel. And, uh, but we're going to see this fulfilled soon, guys. But it's going to imply uh, many wars. The north uh, versus the south, you got it in Ezekiel 38, but also you see it in Daniel, the prophecy of Daniel. The 70 weeks, you have a king from the north and a king from the south. So you're seeing wars increase around the world this year, and you're also seeing the restoration of worship in Israel. The wailing wall being given, the temple mount be given to the Israel for a time. That will be restored. Now, one thing, one cool thing is that the the false worship, the sacred images, the sacred pillars are going to be destroyed in Jerusalem, and that's how that is going to be the clean worship to God is going to be. Uh, coming from that, after all these sacred pillars, wooden images, high altars will be destroyed. And that's going to be soon in the midst of destruction, but we're going to see the hand of God triumph once again and for all this time. God bless you. And if Yeshua is not your Lord and Savior, put your trust in Him. Read the scripture, seek Him, pray to the only God that can hear you. And bring you peace. His name is Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God of Israel.